what? How does this curve tell you how fast sinusoids move and that they move faster? Well, that may not be clear because we haven't talked about dispersion curves yet. So before we move on away from this board real quick, let's remind ourselves here a traveling sinusoid, sine kx minus omega t, say, well, how fast does it go? Right. Well, one thing to remember is this, if we wanted to write this differently, it would be the sine of k. If we pull the k out, it's x minus omega over k t. The speed any sinusoid goes, any single sinusoid in any medium, is always going to be its angular frequency omega over its spatial, uh, over its wave number k. Right? Omega over k is how fast any single sinusoid goes. If I put a sinusoid here, and say, here's omega, the dispersion curve tells me it's going at this k, then the speed is this value, omega, over this value, k. Okay? So, to really understand dispersion curves, we need to erase all this and keep going. So I'm going to just do a quick... Okay. So, let's look more carefully at dispersion curves. All right, and let's draw a nice big dispersion curve here. It's always a plot of omega versus k, because those are the two values that matter. Those tell us about how fast something moves. And we can plot ourselves a nice non-dispersive medium. Okay, so here it's a line. And to really see what you want to see, it's good to think about two different sinusoids. So let's consider non-dispersive beats. Remember, beats are just when we add two sinusoids of about the same frequency. We saw this beat pattern before. So let's do that. Let's have y1 x and t, oh, given the same amplitude, is a cosine k1 x minus omega 1 t. So that's one. And now, let's look over here and define where k1 and omega 1 are. So the first one's going here at omega 1, and we can draw a line over and a line down and say, therefore, it's there at k1, okay? That sinusoid will travel at, I'll say goes at V is what? Omega 1 over K1. I'll call that V1, okay? And we'll have Y2 of X and T is A cosine K2 X minus omega 2 T, and it will goes at V2 equals omega 2 over k2. So say, let's make it go roughly twice as fast here. Omega 2 will be here, and we'll come straight down. k2 will be there. Higher frequency, higher wave number, OK? So this velocity we call the phase velocity. Let's give it a name. It's what we've been saying, the speed of a single sinusoid. All right, so VPH, <coughs> it's simply omega over K. All right, and here you can see a property of a non-dispersive medium is all the sinusoids move with the same speed. They all move with the same phase velocity because this is a line. If I double omega, and if this is a line, a linear relationship, I will double k. If I add 10% to omega, I will add 10% to k. They're proportional if this is a line, if this is non-dispersive. And if everything goes at the same speed, then you can imagine any Fourier uh, synthesis you do to make a pulse will also hang together. 
So this is the non-dispersive case. But let's still write it out as beats. 